What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video. Currently I am live on Twitch. So that's how that subscription just came in from CC Prime. Appreciate you. Uh, and we're doing a multiple part rebuild. So what that means is it's going to be like a combination between Jaguar, uh, Jaguars franchise where we play every single game and a regular rebuild video where we almost play no games at all. So it's going to be a combination of like playing the moments and drafting the team. This will be like a three to five, maybe even more part uh, rebuild where like every episode pretty much is going to be a season or, or around that. Well, maybe we'll play the moments in some significant games. Maybe we'll um, do an off season per episode, something like that. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying this out. I've had this idea for a while and we're just going to see how it plays out. So uh, I will be thanking subscribers on Twitch as we get them, because I, you know, I do appreciate it. Green Day fan, appreciate the uh, gift sub there to T-Zion. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to do, uh, or tune in, do join us on Twitch. That'd be much appreciated. That is in the description, twitch.tv slash bangle, uh, as are all the links to Twitter, where I'm giving away a copy of Madden NFL 21. If you're interested in having this game for free, even if you don't like it, you think it sucks, you haven't played it, whatever. You can get it on uh, Twitter, potentially, if you enter that giveaway. And I got my merch link in there as well interested in picking this up i have so many different links you gotta check them out second channel some content you might enjoy but let's go ahead and start this video and uh i mean it should be a lot of fun this is the first episode obviously uh i will be reading the comment section so if you guys have some uh, feedback and criticisms on how to make the series better that would be much appreciated but, uh, yeah, so we're, I guess it'll be probably a combination of manual and auto scouting. Weekly training is going to be auto. Uh, this is like, again, it's rebuild focus. It's not really so much gameplay focused. So I might turn it on or off from simulation and maybe to arcade or something. Uh, I guess we'll keep it on all Madden. Or maybe, maybe we'll go all pro arcade. It, I, this is supposed to be a fun kind of laid back series and... We'll just have uh, have some fun rebuilding and not worry about a coach name or different things. It's just kind of like the best of both worlds. So let's go ahead and go over the roster as Trey Songs gifted a sub to Cinematic Fields. Thank you so much, Trey Songs. And let's let's talk about this team. So when I was thinking about what team to do, we talked about with the chat. The chat voted, uh, and the Rams won. It was what Rams, Titans, Vikings, and Steelers, and the chat pretty much overwhelmingly picked the Rams. I know you're probably in there on the YouTube video like, oh, how could, how could chat choose the Rams over this team or that team or whatever? You got to come to Twitch. You got to vote, and maybe you'll change it next time. But we've got Jared Goff, a quarterback. That's someone I'm probably going to look to replace as – it's not even just his age. He's only 25, but he's normal development. He's not really progressing that quickly. He's not really particularly great with that normal dev. Maybe that can you know grow over the course of time to star or superstar or whatever. And maybe we do keep him around. But for right now, uh, the plan is to probably move on from Jared Goff in one way, shape, or form. Maybe that's a trade. Maybe that's whatever. I don't know. It's going to be it's gonna be fun because our, uh, our approach is going to be different than a lot of other uh, rebuild videos that we've done so far because maybe we're in a win-now mode because we will have some gameplay. Maybe we trade Jared Goff. Maybe we trade Andrew Whitworth, who's a superstar left tackle. We got Cam Akers starting over Malcolm Brown, Texas Longhorns legend, as we get uh, Andre Esquivel with the Tier 1 back for two months. I love the content. Appreciate you, Andre. And then Trey Songs with the Tier 1 back for six months. Thank you as well. Got Cooper Cup, Robert Woods in there, Josh Reynolds, and Van Jefferson. Maybe I like Van Jefferson better than, uh, than Josh Reynolds. I feel like Josh Reynolds is a good gunner like on special teams, but maybe not so much of a great receiver. Um, Robert Woods in there is solid with star development. However, he's 28 years old. He's at that age of regression, so maybe someone we look to trade. We got these IKEA uniforms for the Rams. Cooper Cup, going to keep him around. 27 years old, superstar development. Cooper Cup is a really good player, so I think I'll definitely keep him around. Offensive line's pretty bad overall. I'm kind of shocked that Rob Havenstein has star development and Austin Blythe does not. Feels like that should be flipped, but that is what it is. Jeremiah Noteboom in there. Uh, Austin Corbett, maybe we should play. Former second-round pick at the top of the second round, too, by the Browns. And then Andrew Whitworth is super old. 39, maybe? 38 years old. Going to be turning 39. Tyler Higby, Gerald Everett at tight end. Not too bad. 
got some speed there. And then defensively, Terrell Burgess has star development. That's interesting. He's got 90 speed. Zone coverage is not horrific. Tackle's not too bad. Hit power's not too bad. I mean, he's pretty well-rounded. Do I like him better than Taylor Rapp? Taylor Rapp has star development as well. Super young. Almost built more like a linebacker. Despite having low block shed. John Johnson's a beast. I want you know, Terrell Burgess to play. Got Obo Okoronkwo in there. Micah Kaiser. Leonard Floyd is on the Rams now. I kind of forgot about that. Samson Ibukam. 25 years old. He developed well in Madden 20. Don't know if he's going to do that in Madden 21. Defensive line is much better. Ashawn Robinson's on the Rams now. Greg Gaines. Michael Brockers was going to go to the Ravens and then somehow backed out and came back to the Rams. And then, of course, Aaron Donald is the best player in the NFL on the defense side of the ball. It'd be tough to say anyone but Patrick Mahomes right now. But Aaron Donald is a monster. 99 club. What's his superstar X Factor? Blitz. All opposing blockers have their resistance bars wiped out. I don't even know about resistance bars for Madden 21. I got to figure that out. But he's got 99 power moves, 97 finesse moves to go with 99 strength, 99 play rec, 97 block shed, 99 awareness. Pretty much like 97 and above everything. <laughs> Aaron Donald is unbelievable. So he should be in our long-term plans. Jalen Ramsey. Uh, what is this? Troy Hill. Is that who this is? Not particularly good. David Long. I mean, Dante Dion's on this team. We gotta make we gotta make some replacements in some spots, but uh, I think I don't really want Daryl Henderson playing that much. To be honest, I want Cam Akers to just be everything. Van Jefferson in the slot, but we'll simulate a little bit. We'll go to about the midseason mark. And again, like each of these episodes is gonna be like a season. So, I don't really think I'm going to make any trades right now. And we'll just have to see what happens. So, I, I think these are probably going to be about, like, hour-long episodes, maybe. Somewhere in that range. Not 100% sure, but somewhere in that range. And maybe I'll even stop it before. Maybe we make some trades at, like, week 7. I think that's probably a good idea for us. 4 and 3. Hmm. Oh, didn't have auto-scouting on. We'll do auto-generated rookies for this, and uh, we'll see what's in here. So, we talked about quarterback a little bit. Dean Burton is not good. Mitch Snell is not good. Ethan Kerr, not good. Carl Peterson, not good. Jeff Preston, not good. Dude, all these quarterbacks suck. They want us to keep with, uh, with Jared Goff for sure. Donovan Thomas looks like he could be decent. And we'll have the CPU do a lot of this. Wide receiver is not exactly high on my list. Offensive line, we could definitely uh, look at. Oh, we. Ah, I was hoping he'd be a beast after his A-minus impact block, but it looks like Nick Zeitler is going to be a whole lot better. You know, he's a late second rounder. Yeah, I mean, we don't we don't seem to have a lot of talent on the offensive line either, which means I guess this is a very uh, strong defensive class. Brad Shield seems to be okay. B.J. Watson, all right. <laughs> Only have 10 points left. I guess we'll spend that on that. But uh, we'll go ahead and, and turn on auto scouting. Jalen Ramsey is our top priority free agent at the moment. What do we want to do with him? We want to bring him back. The money situation is going to be the toughest thing so far for the Rams. Because they have so much salary on just a few players. Like, if you look at the cap hit here... Jared Goff is a ton. Aaron Donald is a ton. And then Jalen Ramsey is a, a very large amount as well. Hmm. Jalen Ramsey, we need him back. I mean, that's clear. But it's like, who is going to end up getting the axe because of that? Like, Cooper Cup, John Johnson, Samson, Abukam, Gerald Everett. Like, there are a lot of free agents here that we have to bring back. As a, a wizard there with the three-month resub. Appreciate you. Ramsey's going to be expensive. That face scan is... Scary. I feel like he should be less ghastly looking. Jesus, Jalen. It's going to be over 15 million a year. And he wants more of a bonus. 15 million is not going to cut it. Cooper Cup's going to be expensive as well. We're going to extend him, though. 
Guess I'll up that bonus a little bit. Uh, and the bonus ensures that Cooper Cup is going to be back for a little while. John Johnson, I want him back as well. He's going to be a little bit more reasonably priced. And he is back long term. Ebukam could be more expensive, maybe 8 to 10. Yeah, uh, right in the middle of that. 9.5 per year, 5 years. Maybe it's, ah, we'll do 6, why not? We'll have to bump that up. That's just under 10. So he's back. Gerald Everett I want back as well. I would rather have him than Tyler Higby. That 85 speed is uh, is very nice. And we'll, we'll bump that up a bit. But we're already running super low on uh, our cap space here. Austin Blythe, I'm not even sure he's in our long-term plans. I can tell you that Leonard Floyd is not, regardless of how well he plays. And Jalen Ramsey is going to be a thing that we, uh, we look to do next week, probably, as we have our buy. But we can't make any trades um, at this point. So that is what it is. We have everybody that we're going to have. <laughs> no one's getting traded, but Jalen Ramsey needs to be brought back. He's super expensive, but I think he's well worth. More bonus? Dude, how much bonus do you want? How much do you need, Jalen Ramsey? That's ridiculous. I just bumped it that much, and he's still like, not enough. Jalen Ramsey, you are killing me. I guess we'll do another week. What is our record here? We just crushed the Dolphins. Five and three. So we're on path to make the playoffs. Joshua Brunson with that uh, prime back for two months. Appreciate you. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take down the salary a bit. And then I'll just bump the bonus even more. So 11 mil. All right. And Jalen Ramsey is back. So I guess bonus is much more impactful than the actual uh, salary for him. So we'll set up there. And I think this is a really important game here in week 10. So I guess we'll go ahead and hop in and see if we can beat the Seahawks. And this is what we'll be playing the moments here. This is like, you know, more of a hybrid series between total rebuild and total play through every game. We want like the best of both worlds type matchup. But we'll jump in. We're actually playing in our uh, new stadium here. It looks so nice from... Uh, like all the uh, pictures and like the creations that you saw. It'll be interesting to see how it looks in real life. As I wanted Tyler Higby. I'm just holding on to the ball way too long. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, I'm not good, right? But you know, I'm not, at least I'm not terrible. Would love a score here on the opening drive as maybe we'll look to go Cooper Cup, get him involved. Yeah, I think that's going to be a main focus for us as Hawk with the three month back for three month streaks. Says, hi fam, what's going on Hawk? Appreciate you. Third and two, maybe get Cam Akers involved up the middle. It says we don't really have an advantage there, though, in that box. There are six guys there. Seven even. Seven guys. Miscounted. But our offensive line seems to be in a really good position to get some stops here. Wow, is that the slowest cut of all time from Cam Akers? Like, that was beyond slow. That was so bad. And Bobby Wagner. Oh, my goodness. We gotta look. We got to look to stay away from him. Bobby Wagner is going to be unbelievable. Yeah, I know, I know it's arcade, but I'm not just going to take advantage of that. We're going to roll out with Jared Goff here. That's just to make the game a little bit more fun, but I'm not just going to exploit the uh, mechanics. Like, it's not like, look how good I am against a CPU. Like, that's... If I wanted to win every single All Madden game, I definitely could. Like, it would be very, very easy to do that, to just exploit the game and, and run cheese and overpowered shit. Like, I'm just not trying to do that. I don't think that's fun for you guys. That's not fun for me. As we get it to Tyler Higby. The goal is not, like, how many points can I score on the CPU. It's can we, like, play in, in somewhat of a realistic manner uh, and have fun. Cam Akers just falls down. That's great. Should bring back zero overall franchise? No, I should not. That was a, that was a terrible series. Cam Akers, maybe? No, Tyler Higby's open. Has a step on him. Jamal Adams. They traded all that just to get burned by Tyler Higby. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Cooper Cup. Show me a touchdown. Can we get that? No. Threw that a bit late, I guess. Rude boy Drew with the prime. Thank you so much, Drew. Second and goal. I mean, we had R1. Throw that ball up anyway. Higby 
had the big size advantage and wins the matchup against Shaq Griffin. Tyler Higby gets us on the board. Jumping in here on third down at the end of the second quarter to get the ball to Cam Akers. Hey, there we go. Burst through the hole. We'll take that. Easy first. We're going to jump in for the field goal. I don't really think there's a point to go for this. We'll take a two-possession lead. And I, I think I missed this, actually. Nope, didn't. Down the middle somehow. 10-0. Vegas ace back for three months. If you want to hear Milton Brunson in the... It's the Thompson Community Singers. You're leaving out the whole Go name of the Community the Singers, dude. Disrespect. We got Goff back out here. Can we throw that up the middle? Oh, maybe I should have gone for an aggressive catch there with Robert Woods. I didn't know the ball was going to be sailed that high. But I like the stop and go there. Looks like the middle is going to be wide open. Cooper Cup here. Safety came down. We had to do just a possession catch. Only 45 seconds left to go. We're actually going to have to bomb him here on third and four. Or at least get out of bounds. We have three timeouts, but... Can we throw that? Secure catch. Oh, man. Not what I wanted to do. It said secure catch. So I'm like, all right, you're going to be... You're going to know what to do better than I do. Uh, they didn't because it didn't work out. I guess we get to see the punt. That's why everyone's here anyway, right? Johnny Hecker. It's a booming one. And this is what I do, ladies and gentlemen. This is what I do. I put him on the two. Huh. They, they don't call me the best punter on YouTube for no reason. You know what I mean? As we're in a red zone opportunity here. Red zone situation. Might just be operation. Get the ball to Tyler Higby. If we throw that ball in there, we fit it in. Cooper Cup had all the separation in the world. There we go. 17 to 3. Seahawks get on the board, though. 17 10. We have not had a lot of defensive moments here. By a lot, I say we haven't had any. How are we going to get in a position to uh, see what the defense can do? As we get it to Tyler Higby, who beats Bobby Wagner for his second touchdown of the game. Maybe it's not about Gerald Everett. Maybe it's about Tyler Higby. As we have another red zone alert. Cam Akers, what can you do? Get away from Bobby Wagner, please. Maybe we shouldn't run the ball. He's 11 rushes for 26 yards. Pretty bad. But I will say it seems like uh seems like Bobby Wagner's all over the place. I don't really like anything here. We're going to scramble with Goff. Can we dive for the end zone? No! <laughs> Why did they change the controls this year? That is an easy touchdown, dude. They're killing me. They are actually killing me. That's an easy touchdown. Marlon with a prime back for four months. Appreciate you, buddy. Kind words. And I had the touchdown. Did someone hold while the ball was in the air? How do you hold on, on third and three from the three-yard line? Oh, not even a problem. KJ Wright hit Jared Goff after the play was over. Sick hit, dude. 31-10. Right, are they going for the onside kick? Let's see if we can recover it. This is not exactly onside defense. <laughs> and whoever that was dropped it. I think it was Obanaya Okoronkwo who recovered. That was almost really bad. As we have a third down. Third and four. Is this a time to take a shot for Cooper Cup? Just because they wouldn't be expecting it? It's single coverage. I think we have a step. Go and get it! Cooper Cup touchdown! Let's go, baby! Cooper Cup second touchdown of the game. This looks like the Rams of what? Two, three years ago? Scoring nearly 40 points a game? And we're finally on defense. We get to see what Micah Kaiser and Terrell Burgess can do up the middle. And that one is 4th and 14 over the middle and dropped to end the game. Philip Dorsett can't haul it in. How do you drop that? Like You got you to gotta catch that there. <laughs> you got to catch that. Cam Akers breaks a tackle. Jamal Adams makes sure that he regrets doing so with a huge hit. We just can't run the ball at all. I've tried a lot. We cannot run the ball. And I got sacked. 
I could have thrown it away quickly, but I didn't want to risk it, especially with the lead at this point in the game. KJ Wright has two and a half sacks, but we'll take the field goal and guarantee that the game is over. As I think there's a 0.0% chance they could score enough points within, like, what, 40 seconds to tie it up or win. There's just no chance. Going forward on fourth down. Hey, uh, you guys are down. Uh, never mind. It's over. <laughs> That's all good. Dominated. Got some upgrade points here. Probably just get, let, let the CPU take care of those. Uh, we're doing pretty well. Six and three. On pace to make the playoffs. Maybe we'll simulate a few weeks at a time. I feel like we should be able to beat some of the teams that we have on our schedule. The Bucks could be a little bit tough. I don't know. I think we should be able to make the playoffs, though. So, would be nice to actually do that here in a rebuild. 9-5, and five, and we face the Seahawks again. It's a super tight NFC West. Oh, my goodness. We almost have to jump in again here. But uh, we'll jump in in week 17 if we don't win here. Even, either, even so, we lost by three. And the 49ers are 9-5-1. and one. We have to beat the Cardinals. Probably should have jumped in in that last game. But we'll do so now against the Cardinals. Season on the line. All right, third and nine here, jumping in. And I don't really like any of these options. Can we lob that to Cam Akers? Sure we can. Turn up field. Cam, stay in bounds. Break a tackle. Love that. 20-yard pickup on third and long. And we are set up almost with an end goal situation on the 11-yard line. Van Jefferson, I actually like that route. We're going to keep him on that. Cooper Cup on a slant. They can't cover both. I had I had Cup. We're going to... I, dude, I hate the freaking double tap button. I don't mean for that to be a, uh, a, a double uh, pump throw. I don't want that. Clean White, thank you so much for the prime sub, man. Appreciate that. I don't really love my options here either. Block for me, Higby... He broke the sack even? I tried to turn him up field and it, it didn't do it. Did somebody else. Third and 18. We had Higby maybe, and I'm getting sacked. Wow, that was a great drive by me. Devon Kennard. Man, that was fantastic. Glad I jumped in there. Super helpful for the team. <laughs> yeah, that was great. We do go up three nothing, but uh, yeah, that was uh, less than ideal. You know what would be ideal? Is hitting that follow button if you haven't already. And subscribing on YouTube if you are not yet subscribed. We're going to do it here. Higby, touchdown. Controller down. It's all good, baby. Tyler Higby is the man with a... No, stop dancing. What are you doing? What is that? What are you doing, Tyler Higby? Third and two. Blitz me. It's a stretch to Cam Akers. Back across the formation. First down, gain a 10. I want to get Cam Akers involved. But he hasn't really been that great when we use him so far. Maybe we just got to keep using him. We have one more snap. We do. Van Jefferson didn't like it. Cam Akers, catch it, go down. That's all you have to do. We're inside the 10. We can extend our lead here. And make this, oh, I don't know. 17 nothing hopefully and not just 13 nothing which would be the alternative that's open over the middle robert woods td there we go just fit that in there and we go up 17 nothing and we have the football again do they turn the ball over damn they suck i don't really want to run the ball here too much but i don't think one would be too bad cam Akers. We'll take that over 50 yards now. We could also go back to a slip screen here. That actually could be really, really good. Appreciate those new follows, guys. Cam Akers. I mean, is that Buda Baker? No, it's Ty no, yeah. Bu Tyre Matthews not on the team. What am I talking about? It's Buda Baker. <laughs> am, I, am I stupid already? That just splashed almost right in my eye. Cooper Cup underneath. Robert Woods doesn't want to block at all. I didn't go out of bounds because we didn't have to because we have timeouts. Receivers just don't block anymore. 
That was last Madden. In this Madden, they don't give a fuck. It rolling out. Maybe had a Cooper Cup. We're gonna bomb this anyway. That hung up in the air for a minute, but it doesn't matter. It's on Arcade. Van Jefferson, the rookie out of Florida with the TD. 24 zip. Cardinals finally get on the clock. And it's not even the difficulty that matters here because the Cardinals and the Seahawks and really anyone facing our defense could not score in simulation. No one's been able to really do anything as we get it to Robert Woods here. Turning up field inside the 10. I don't know why they're not scoring in sim on our defense. Is the 40, or not the 49ers, is the Rams defense really that good in sim? Clean White, thank you for the 500 bits, man. Thank you for, so much for the kind words as well. I wanted the slant, the cup. We're going to check down quickly to Van Jefferson. We'll take the two, maybe at best a three-yard gain. Not amazing, but we'll take it. Don't want to throw here. I feel like slants isn't that great, but it's kind of too short in the field to run posts. No one's really getting open. Cooper Cup just run across the formation. We're going to try and get it in there anyway. He just never had a step. I forced the ball, but it looked like Byron Murphy was just blanketing him in coverage. Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to work. Third and goal. We could still find Cooper Cup here. He's kind of not open. Tyler Higby was wide open, and that I didn't want you to run up field, Cam. That sucks. That sucks. If he just stayed where he was, we would have been perfect. Ugh, man. Oh, yeah, the Rams have Aaron Donald, dude. What am I thinking? He can stop an entire offense single-handedly. Obviously. And he continues to do so, clearly. As we have had no defensive moments ever. They've turned over the ball twice, and we haven't seen any of them. I like defense, dude. I don't care about offense. What is that catch with Robert Woods? Awful throw by Jared Goff. Yet, Robert Woods makes a one-handed snag. Saves him. Cup over the middle. And he's stiff-arming, fighting his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Only his fifth on the season. You guys got to keep in mind, we're in week 17. And we also might not even make the playoffs. This game is make or break. If the 49ers win, I don't think we get in. The 49ers have to lose, and we have to win, and we're going to win. Nothing that Kyler Murray can do at this point. They're down 34-6. to Their offense didn't show up the entire game. So even though they get the first down there with Devontae Freeman, it doesn't matter. Another fourth down. They don't really give you any defensive moments in this game, huh? They're like, oh, defense is boring. No one likes defense. We just want to throw touchdowns. Now we're getting carved up. Guess what? We can allow a few rushes. Another fourth down. <laughs> Every time we get in, it's, oh, they're going for it on fourth down. That's the only time you get to actually play defense. There's DeAndre Hopkins, who seems like he hasn't done anything the entire game, probably. And they managed to actually score, but it doesn't matter. Because the game is over. We win. We're advancing. But now the question remains, are we actually going to make the playoffs that'll be a good one we'll see so it seems like most of the chat thinks we're not going to make the playoffs but we won 10 games i think that'd be really tough to keep them out of the playoffs and if the seahawks lose if the 49ers lose we'll probably win the division i, I don't know about that we'll finish at least second but we need those two things to happen maybe yeah we made them the 49ers somehow won the division. They won and they won the division. Seahawks went 10 and 6, so they lost. So was it the Seahawks lost that ended up giving us the playoff berth? Is that what happened? I'm not sure. I mean that would that would make sense, but did the Seahawks also make the playoffs or no? The Seahawks made the playoffs as well. So with that win, we guaranteed a playoff berth. It didn't matter. The rest of the league was you know, unaffected. So we made the playoffs guaranteed in no matter what. We'll, we'll spend some coach XP here. It's nice starting with an actual coach because we have some uh, some training packages that have already been purchased. 
and they're more, uh, or excuse me, they're less expensive than they usually might be. No, Madden does not have the new playoff format. We will go in, play the moments against the Cowboys here in the divisional. They have us, they're a higher overall. Does that mean they end up beating us? We'll see. All right, we'll see what we can do here. Zero, zero, hopping in. Of course, only, uh, only offense, because that's the only thing that matters. Tyler Higby, it's a Tyler Higby show. We just get the ball to Tyler Higby and we win. I rate your fate with the prime sub. Appreciate you. It's a fun name. Who are they blitzing with a strong safety? You can't play single high. Don't they know it's arcade? Cup has a step. Burnham! Cooper Cup snags it. Huge gain. 49 yards. In one play, we go half the length of the field. Setting up first and 10 from the 16. Play action with Goff here. I don't really like anything. I'm just going to throw it away. I oh, don't bother throwing it. Switch it to your other hand and push it towards the people. Come on. Doesn't mean we can't score here. Wide open. Robert Woods. Threw that ball a little bit early, but I wanted to ensure the completion rather than the touchdown. And like maybe not being a catch at all. So I'll take that. Cooper Cup. I pump faked it accidentally, and I'm getting sacked. I'm not getting sacked. He threw out of the sack. Unreal from Jared Goff. <laughs> He's a monster. I had the touchdown, dude. That's like the most annoying part about it. I didn't mean to do that. I wish I would have double tapped that time. I didn't. I did not mean to throw the ball. Yeah, I'm. I'm terrible at this game, huh? Third and goal. That's wide open. And we got a bad throw because pressure came in. Stopped us from getting the touchdown. Hate to see it. But we'll go up 3 nothing. I'll take that. Another red zone alert here. Cam Akers. Run back across the formation. Wasn't the right move. <laughs> we, gained, we gained a couple yards. But we'll look for, uh, I don't know here. I don't really like the Rams playbook so far. I mean, they're leaving Cooper Cup a little bit. He doesn't catch that, really. I, I know we threw into a tight window there, and we hit him in the hands, and he dropped it. Maybe he just should have held on to the ball there. Open over the middle. Higby! <laughs> That's what we have to do. Why am I not doing that more often? Give the ball to Tyler Higby and win the game. That's all it is. All right, I'm going to throw to Tyler Higby no matter what. No matter what. Higby. Van, Van Jefferson touchdown somehow? What is the what is the penalty? Pass interference. It's it's a touchdown. I I told you. If you throw to Tyler Higby, you're going to win the game. I throw to Tyler Higby. It's not even a good throw. It's a Van Jefferson touchdown. I have no idea. But that is the power of throwing to Tyler Higby. Is you score even when he doesn't catch it. <laughs> Dallas only down by, uh, down by three here. As we'll look for Van Jefferson, maybe. I mean, it should be Tyler Higby. Hold on, let's reset this. Streak R1. Van Jefferson on the wheel. Higby deep. Higby has a step. Not really, but he's got size. Go up and get it, Tyler Higby. Touchdown. It's arcade mode, remember? He mosses Shinobi Ouzie. 47-yard TD. That's all we had to do is just throw the ball to Tyler Higby. And you're going to win the game. Clear as day. Sideline. Could not fit that in. I didn't know what that cornerback on the far right side was doing. Threw that so late. That's okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we don't have to be good to, to win. It's arcade mode. Lob it. Cup. One-handed. Diving sideways. On a flat angle. 180 degree angle there. That's some geometry for you. Cooper Cup makes the play. <laughs> Unreal. 
unbelievable, and it's 24-7. A little bit of lag there. I didn't like that. Good block. Acres. Couldn't make a miss that badly. Can we score again before the half ends? Probably. Probably. Oh, uh, we had circle maybe for a little while. Acres? Nah. I mean, we had, we had Cooper Cup, but I'm like, ah, we'll throw on the run. Jared Goff can make this throw. Uh, no, he couldn't, actually. He just totally missed. And again, what you guys all came here for, the patent-pending punt, triple P, and we boomed it. Good spot, too. I don't know where the punt returner's going. He just wanted to make sure I punted it inside the 20. They're putting it on the 20. That was inside the 20. Oh, yeah. Third and eight. Play action. I don't really like the option. Scoff. Dude, it takes over for you. Don't run me at Demarcus Lawrence. Why would that be what happens? I don't want that to happen. Don't run at the big bad defensive end. Jared Goff, you freaking goofball. No! Block him, Cam Akers! He's kicking his feet like a little baby because he's in the zone. I mean, you're killing me. You're killing me. Jared Goff to Cooper Cup, first down. <laughs> it's wishful thinking. It's third and goal. You can't get a first down in this spot. Um, but I want, I want it. Under throw. Oh my goodness! It's Tyler Higby, the low throw, touchdown, diving catch. I just got to get the ball to Tyler Higby. I just got to do that. And finally, a defensive moment. Oh, yeah, because they're going for it on fourth down. Dak Prescott. Is that Gavin Escobar? Who's 89? They're throwing outside. I went for the ball. C.D. Lamb makes the catch. They're all right, Radman. I've, I've had them. I've had the screwdrivers. I, I have one in the fridge right now. They're all right. Play action. We get that throw in there. Cooper Cup, just go down. We just go down. Every time we run the ball, we're pretty unsuccessful. So I feel like that's not what I want to do. Maybe we'll just stay with throwing the ball and moving the chains. We'll try a run here, maybe. Acres back across. He's just so slow. Like, it's inexplicable. Like, how slow he is. I can't hit any hole or do anything of the sort, especially on the RPOs. I don't know why he feels so slow, because he's not a slow running back. He's not a slow player. He's just so slow in-game. And I'm not sure why. It's almost like my R2 isn't working with him sometimes. Fourth and inches. He's going to get the ball here. And he got shed on immediately. Dontari Poe on the Cowboys now. We just keep giving him the ball, though. It seems to be working out. Cam Akers, random moves, down to the four. I'll take it. Cam Akers breaks a tackle, is thrown almost into the end zone by Leighton Vander Esch, but the game's over. They're stacking the box. They can't cover our receivers, but they can blitz the absolute hell out of Jared Goff. Guess what? Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The game's already over. It's already over. 31-7. That's your final. Cowboys didn't stand a chance in this wild card round of the playoffs. But we do have some upgrades here before we hop into the divisional round of the playoffs. Most notably, John Johnson and Cam Akers, two starters on our team, including our starting running back. Even though we haven't exactly used him that much. And I will say he's felt a little bit slow as well as Feff gives the sub to King Blanco. Appreciate you, Feff. Thank you so much, man. And if you guys are in here, you know all about Uju Tech. But let me tell you, we're going to use some of that to win in the playoffs here. Cam Akers, 91 speed. It's felt more like, like 64. Donate link in the, uh, in the bottom of the screen there. I don't, I don't know how it looks on mobile. But uh, we got the Packers in the NFC Conference Championship at SoFi Stadium. This one is going to be a very interesting matchup. I clicked full game. We don't necessarily want that. But uh, we'll play the moments and see if Aaron Rodgers and the Packers can knock off this Los Angeles Rams team. 
Do you guys don't know John Johnson, son of John Johnson, son of John Johnson? Third of his name. John, 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 John Johnson. The third. Is that too many Johns? Oh, a defensive moment to start. That's unheard of. Third and three. Aaron Rodgers with Aaron Jones in the backfield. We'll be covering him. And he's going to throw back across the form. Like, how do you do that? If I don't go to Aaron Rodgers there, it's a big gain with him on the ground. And if I, you know, don't, like, if I, if I stay on Aaron Jones, he's going to, ah, jeez, dude. That could have been bad. I had, like, almost no options. Micah Kaiser makes a tackle, but it looks like the Packers are going to be pretty tough to keep off the board here. They are driving. Second and one. We're going to want to get uh, some pressure after them. I'll use John Johnson here to try to take away Aaron Jones. It is a run, and it is swallowed up. Reader brought him down in the backfield. Third and three. And this is a big third and three indeed. We got Terrell Burgess on the spy. I'll take over those duties. And we'll try to take him down. And thrown out of the sack. Rodgers incomplete. And it will be fourth and three. And they'll probably take a 3 nothing lead. Oh. All right, first and 10 from the 12. I want Cooper Cup. We're just going to throw it anyway. And he holds on. Sometimes you just got to trust it and throw the ball super late. And it'll work out anyway. We have first and goal from the 1. Nearing the end of the first quarter, we have play action. And we're going to throw it to Tyler Higby probably. I don't actually like that. We're going to throw Everett. It's the backup tight end with the touchdown. Adrian Amos can't make a play on the ball and Gerald Everett gonna dance on him as we take the lead with a touchdown seven to three But the defense needs our help on the one yard line How do we keep Aaron Rodgers and the Packers out of the end zone in this situation? We're gonna have to use our Micah Kaiser. They're gonna run the football and Aaron Jones is stopped Just short of the goal line. I Don't know how we're gonna keep him out of the end zone though for real. Like, that's gonna be super tough. Maybe Leonard Floyd can do something. It's pitch left. Taylor Rapp is taken out of the play. Aaron Jones has a touchdown. And for maybe the first time in this entire rebuild, we are down in the game. 10 to 7. The Packers have the ball again and are threatening. As we will take control. I'm trying to get to freaking Rapp, dude. Let me get on Aaron Donald. Jalen Ramsey can't stop that one from being completed. I don't even know who number 80 is on the Packers offhand. Who is 80? He's not even on the field right now. Okay, can't be that good. How does Jalen Ramsey not make that play? Kaiser, big hit! The ball's loose and he recovers! The user hit stick, force fumble, and fumble recovery, Micah Kaiser. And we have one minute to move the length of the field and score a touchdown before a half comes to a close. Cam Akers. Doesn't really find much there. But before the half ends, would love to tie up this game at the very least. We're going to go with a slip screen here. They're blitzing. We're going to throw the ball. You just got to be faster, Cam Akers. And he's not. Also, it is Arcade. And they are blitzing. And there's one safety. It's going to be Cup or Higby. Higby's open. Wow. I thought I had him on a streak. Did I not streak him? Did I not streak Tyler Higby? See, like, it makes no sense for a fake here, yet the Packers are expecting the fake because I'm faking it. It just, it makes no sense, man. It makes no sense. It's so fucking dumb. They just know what play is coming before it comes. <laughs> Buckets with the $5 donation. Appreciate you. This is enough. You're about like $80 short, but I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you for the $5 donation. As we are into the third quarter, third and 10, I want Higby. I didn't even realize the pressure was coming in. Dude, come on. Smith brings us down. It's not even Preston Smith. Is that Alden Smith who just made that play? Is Alden Smith on the Packers in this? It's third and five, and we need to stop. 
Someone better come up big. He's throwing it quickly, and it's intercepted by David Long. And David Long has a step. He's got space. No blocks. Doesn't matter. David Long, pick six. The second-year player out of Michigan puts us on top 14-10. to 10. But the Packers answer quickly as we are at third and one. Handing it off, Cam Akers. First down. What up, Coos? What is my title right now? Is it still the, the bounty stuff? It is not correct at the moment. <laughs> Appreciate you, Comzy, you little rascal. Yeah, I've been I've been knocking out some bounties tonight, Coogs. Some Harry Carey in that call. That's probably because I'm getting drunk. Cooper Cup. Touchdown. We extend the lead. We're looking at 21-13. There we go, Cup. Oh, and the Packers tied it up nearly instantly. It's 21-21. Savage. Three minutes to go in the game. We need to play with Terrell Burgess going underneath, and I sagged off too much. I gave Devin Funches too much separation. Honestly, the Packers receiving situation isn't even that bad. If Devin Funches can be even half decent, they have Devontae Adams. Marquez Valdez-Scantling is not really a bad third. That's that's so crazy. Ball's loose. Recover it. Reader gets it. It's so crazy that I would send the player after Aaron Rodgers and he would throw knowing that I was going to send him. CPU is overpowered. I'm streaking Tyler Higby. Funch just opted out. All right, never mind. Never mind. Forget what I was saying. Don't even, don't even worry about it. We're, we're uh, going to slant Van Jefferson here. We're going to roll out. We had some options. I mean, like, we definitely did. I'm going to go Cam Akers, though. And he dropped the ball. Eh, I probably should have gone for a possession catch there. Maybe not my best idea. As we are now facing third and ten. I probably should have streets Cooper Cup or something. We're going to just drag him across the formation. Rack catch. I thought he would have a step, and he just never had it. This is not a good spot for us. We're going to need a really good punt here. You guys know. You've seen the channel. Best punter on YouTube. Check this out. You like this? You like this? Check this out. I went to the slightly to the right for a reason. Look at that punt. Look at that punt, baby. Down at the six. Pinning him. That's how you punt. That's how you do it. Who have you seen that gets this hype for a punt? Guess what? Field positioning wins games. Write that down. That's a quote. Slant. Oh, you're, fu oh, you're fucked. You know, wins games. How about uh, making a fucking play? And we just didn't. We didn't have it. They just had a 94-yard touchdown. 94 yards. What are you doing? Where was the safety? Where was the safety? Now I have to win the game and actually be half decent. Tyler Higby. After the catch, run people over. Do something. Jets fan, gift in five. Showtime. Province, Gunnimal, Crazy Sticks, Gold Bomber, all getting subscriptions. Appreciate you. And another five. Snap Seldy, Jay McDowell, and Bridges, this B, and the Dez all getting subs. Jets fan, thank you so much, man. Rolling out. Make a play. It's going to be Jared Goff on his own. Juke back. Don't fumble. I should have slid. What am I doing? I'm a crazy person right now. This is this is unbelievable. 50 seconds remain in the game. I might go for two if we convert here and actually uh, get a touchdown. If we manage to score, it might be uh, it might be go for two season all day. I, I tried to slide. We're gonna call a timeout. 30 seconds remain in the game. Jets fan gifting another five. Jets fan, you're crazy, but I appreciate you. Let's see how crazy you are, honestly. How crazy are you? Appreciate you, Jets fan. We're rolling out. Throwing a crossbody. It's Tyler Higby. He's out of bounds. What are we doing? Oh, that was a touchdown. I should have possession caught it. I thought the DB was going to make a play. Play action. Over the middle. Jefferson needs a Van Jefferson touchdown. With 20 seconds to go in the game, 
Why, am I, why do I sound like Christopher Walken? We're going to make it 28-28. We're in overtime. We got the ball. Touchdown. I even think a field goal would win the game. Any type of points. And we're going to throw it up. Cooper Cup. Aggressive catch him. It's arcade mode, baby. Cooper Cup breaks a tackle. I'm accidentally celebrating. And I accidentally won the game. Tell me it's not a hold. Tell me it's not a hold. Tell me it's not a hold. Go screw you. Pass interference. Defense. Game over. That's how you do it, baby. Let's go. Go screw you. That's how you do it, baby. That's how you do it. Super Bowl. Go screw you. So we had the Super Bowl here. It's going to be Rams, Ravens. Both went 10 and 6. We're an 83 overall. The Ravens are sitting at an 86 overall. This one should be a pretty good game. Can we win the Super Bowl here in year number one? Heading into the draft, we'll make some moves. Free agency could even be interesting as well. We don't have a ton of money, but it's, you know, maybe that small guy that we signed that makes a big difference in the long term. So. I guess let's go ahead, hop into the Super Bowl. This is what we play for. The biggest game of the year. Can we come out on top? I just got to emphasize things, Buckets. It's not that it's not my real life voice. It's just that I got I to gotta be more animated. All right, Jared Goofball. Of course, this Rams team is 0-1 in the Super Bowl. All time, the Patriots beat them. But we'll get it to Robert Woods underneath. That was actually almost intercepted. Don't really want that to happen. But we can take some chances. This secondary is not exactly elite. Oh, we have one-on-one -on -one there. We actually have both of those guys. Why is that so poorly thrown? Was that deemed to be accurate? That was not accurate. Dude, I don't want them to randomly come back for the football. If you're open and they're playing zone coverage, how about you do me a favor and stay where you are? Do not run back into a defender. That doesn't help anybody. First and ten. Play action to Cam Akers. Robert Woods down the middle. It's not even... I Should I have aggressive caught that? I mean, he was wide open and the throw was completely airmailed. What is that animation? Animation 21. That's all Madden is, is animations. Not what we want there. Not what we want at all. But it is still 0-0. The Ravens didn't manage to get anything. Run up field. We have nothing. Dude, the coverage is so locked down. We don't even have a, a, an inch of separation. Oh, roll out. Goff. Look at all the room. There we go. Slide. First down. 16-yard rush. Another first and 10. Here's play action. Look who it is. Tyler Higby in the flat. Just move through him, Tyler. Tyler Higby is so good in this game. That's all I have to do is just throw to my tight end. And he'll just manage to get it done. Underneath, Robert Woods. Big catch and run. Down to the 29. That's open. Threw that a little late. Cooper Cup grabbed it anyway. So not really much of a big deal. What is going on with my voice, dude? I got like a little bubble. Need more alcohol. That was it. First and 10 from the 18. Pressure coming in. Who, who is that? Matt Judon has 99 speed like his jersey number because he came flying at Jared Goff. And now it's second and 15. We had Higby. Doesn't matter. We got Vanilla Vic. Merch in the description. Can you block Cam Akers? Running into the end zone does nothing for us. You don't have the ball. Come back and block. Over the middle. It's underthrown. That is not an accurate throw. When we have a touchdown and it's not thrown to the wide open receiver, it's thrown up the field away from him, that is not accurate. You're killing me. We go up 3 nothing. I guess it'll have to do for now. Pitch, sideline. Oh, what a stop. What a stop. That's how you make a play. Our defense is coming out. Making big plays when we need to. That's a two-minute warning. We need to keep the Ravens out of the end zone. 
Our defense has played well the entire game. As you can see, the Rams only have zero points. Lamar Jackson has been able to get nothing going. We'll cover Mark Andrews pretty much ourselves here. See if Andrews or Lamar Jackson tries to throw it short. As we're going sideline, coming back across. Big hit, and he holds on to the football. Hollywood Brown. How does he catch that? We came back and laid a monster hit on him, and he just caught it. That's not what you want to see. Underneath, big hit, and he held onto the ball again. Willie Sneed. How are they catching these? We're doing, almost knocking them out, and they're just catching it. Man coverage. It's a run. It's read option. Lamar Jackson's too fast. He's got a touchdown. How are we supposed to stop that? Easy TD for the Ravens. And we have a minute and eight seconds to score a touchdown. Rolling out Goff. Vanilla Vic. Did I mention that merch is in the description on Teespring? You guys can get Vanilla Vic merch like I'm wearing right now. For, uh, you know, a great price. Very easy. I mean, you know, why would you not do that? Please don't, please don't get me. Oh, right, we gotta throw it away. Throw across the body, Goff. I knew that was a stupid decision, but guess what? It's arcade mode. It doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter. First and goal from the six. It's Higby time. It's always Higby season. That's not who I meant to throw it to. Was he not what button I thought he was? He was X. I threw the triangle. Second and goal from the six. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kick a field goal. Tyler Higby touchdown. That's all I have to do is throw the ball to Tyler Higby, and it's a score. It's automatic. We're up 10-7 here. What's up, Drewski? Listen, I I, I don't want to. We haven't we haven't talked like one on one in a minute. All right. I hate to to not. I hate to say this personally in front of uh like you know a bunch of people right I, I but i see you freaking out on youtube a little bit about your channel about your your growth and all that listen here Drew, you got nothing to worry about man you got one of the best channels on youtube uh not the expert if you guys don't know him uh branching out from just the franchise type content as taylor rap knocks it loose recovered by michael brockers but listen listen drew you got one of the best channels on youtube you got one of the best personalities you're awesome. Your content's awesome. It doesn't matter what you upload. You're going to grow. You just got to give it time. Everybody loves you. Everybody's going to watch whatever you post. You just got to give it time to even grow that audience even more and get people to, you know, accustomed to what you're going to upload. The growth is going to come, dude. You're awesome. You just got to stick with it and trust that what you're doing and what you're going to continue to do is going to work because it is. First and 10 from the 20. Cup. Make a play. Give me defensive pass interference on that because it totally wasn't. That's a good call right there. That's a good call. We're going down into the one. It's a spot foul. That's how pass interference works in the NFL. It's not like it's college where it's 15. And we got a Cooper Cup touchdown. Make it 17-7. King Jr., appreciate the 100 biddies, dude. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm from New Jersey. Just not, I wouldn't say North Jersey. I'm from the Jersey Shore. Rolling out. Down the field. Robert Woods, it's overthrown. It was thrown to a good spot. Robert Woods really just couldn't track it down. Was the problem with that. Cam Akers, first down. Or just about. Might be second in inches. Worst case scenario. Third in inches. It was they put us in on second down. Interesting. Oh, no, I didn't. I, I threw incomplete on first down. Am I crazy? They shut a block. Cam Akers doesn't care. First down. Rolling out. Vanilla Vic. I don't know if I mentioned this, boys, but is there merch in the description of this video? There probably is. Teespring, you can get some Vanilla Vic merch. Like I'm wearing. I, <laughs> I mentioned it. Oh, yeah, Drew. You know I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. Don't even mention it. It's going to be Higby. It's always going to be Higby. 20-yard gain. 180 bits from King Jr. Appreciate you, buddy. Snooky's brother-in-law was your middle school gym teacher. That's quite a connection there. We had Tyler Higby for a minute. Oh, shoot. Yeah, throw it away. 
I mean, we're going to win the game as long as we chew a little bit of the clock here. This is a Super Bowl victory. You thought I, I've said before that I'm from East Rutherford? Rutherford? No one's from East Rutherford. R Rutherford. Why can't I say that word? Rutherford. No, that's where the Giants play. From East Rutherford is when like, the Giants are playing at MetLife Stadium. Right? I'm not from East Rutherford. I'm not even from remotely close. About 40 minutes or so. Scam Makers gets a nice little gain in there. No, I'm from the Jersey Shore. I'm not a Guido, but uh, you guys have seen the show maybe if you're old enough. I mean, it's just clearly not me. But second and two. Underneath, Robert Woods. Touchdown. Dagger. 24-10. No chance the Ravens come back at this point. Junior, thanks for the 100 bits, man. Fourth and seven, game on the line. Jackson, deep, John Johnson, Moss, and it's a touchdown. Miles Boykin goes up and gets it, 57 yards. King Jr., thanks for the 145 bits from Seaside. Oh, okay. We're going to call a timeout here. They're an onside, obviously. They're down by a touchdown. I don't know. I don't like how it doesn't put his an onside recover by default. Here's Justin Tucker, the best kicker in NFL history. But that is recovered by Jefferson, and we're going to go down. I don't know why he didn't give himself up there. And we are Super Bowl champions. We win a Super Bowl here in year number one. Gotta love it. I mean, that's what, that's what you play for, man. Super Bowl victory. I actually love picking last in the first round. Because that means usually you won the Super Bowl, unless you traded that pick away. So, the Rams are Super Bowl champions here in year one. And to close out the video, we've got the most exciting part of the rebuild. We've got an offseason for you. Let's go ahead and get to that. But alright, great Super Bowl win. Now we have to decide whether or not to re-sign guys like Leonard Floyd. Austin Blythe did not go down in overall. Did he regress? He did a little bit. Like, barely, but he still did. He's playing up to a 79 with morale. So he's really a 77. Do I want to extend him? I don't really have the room to. I don't want Leonard Floyd back. I think it'd be better to just draft an offensive lineman. Probably. Ah, maybe not. Maybe not. What can we get him for? That, that becomes uh, the question. Three years... Up the bonus just over 5 mil. Alright, Austin Blythe is back. That's actually not too bad. We got him for cheaper than I expected. So, I, and the reason that I wanted to bring him back is, is he's our, one of our best offensive linemen. If Andrew Whitworth retires, which I think is likely, we have Jeremiah Noteboom with, like, Bo Allen. It's not even who this is. Brian Allen. Bo Allen's a defensive tackle. We have Brian Allen, Rob Havenstein, so we maybe need three upgrades on the offensive line. It would have been four if we didn't re-sign him. So I think we really needed to re-sign uh, Austin Blythe there. And we got him for a pretty good price. We have no money in free agency because we had to offer so many contract extensions. Alvin Kamara is here. Kareem Hunt, Marcus Williams. We don't like need a running back. Cam Akers is near 80 with star development. That's fine. Terrell Burgess is up to an 80 overall. We don't really need a safety. We have some great safeties. You know, Taylor Rapp actually might get traded. That would probably be for the best. But I think we'll go ahead. We'll maybe accept any, you know, uh, fifth-year option that comes across, depending on who it is. Who would it even be? They have nobody on the team that was picked in the 2016 first round? I guess not. So it's NFL draft time. We had no money to sign anybody in free agency. Now, we don't have a first-round pick because that pick was traded away. The Jaguars have that, I believe, from Jalen Ramsey. But we could make a move. So let's go ahead and uh, check out the draft class and think about some guys we want. We, we might want to make, uh, make a move up for. So we'll, we'll check it out and we'll see. Taylor Rapp for number 11. They can't afford it. They can't even come close to affording it, actually. They're not even remotely close. What if we traded a first next year for this pick? It would have to be a first and, like, it might be, like, a first and a third and 
a third this year gets it done. But it wouldn't. It wouldn't even. It wouldn't even. They don't even have remotely close to enough uh, cap room. I don't even think this would get it done. Yeah, it wouldn't. The Eagles just cannot be traded with. Like every single time in uh, in rebuilds in franchise, they just can't do any trade. Now they take a defensive tackle, which we could actually make a move with the Bengals. Maybe who probably wouldn't take a receiver, but they might. Like you never know. So, do you guys want either Taylor Rapp or Robert Woods? Probably want at least Robert Woods, but yeah, no Cooper Cup or no Taylor Rapp. Excuse me. We can make this move happen. Um, future five and six monument with the twitch prime appreciate you buddy welcome it's gonna be robert woods a third and a seventh maybe i kind of don't want to let this receiver go but it's gonna be more than that t Falo, welcome back five months four months appreciate you I, I i can't read it's gonna be robert woods a third and a fifth for number 12 now my thought process with this is yes i get it robert woods is an 85 overall I'm fully aware of that. Robert Woods is a really solid player, but he's also 29. He's getting paid a decent amount. And we have Van Jefferson coming up behind him. So when you look at wide receiver and you figure that we're paying Cooper Cup a lot, Van Jefferson is a solid number three or number two. We don't really need Robert Woods so much. So we're going to free up some cap room that's going to be extremely necessary in order to uh, re-sign some of our best players and we're going to draft Jamal Booth so in order to facilitate a little bit more cap space a little bit more room we're going to trade away Robert Woods who will regress because he's 29 years old we're getting a younger receiver who looks to be very very talented top skills are amazing combine quite good Jamal Booth welcome to the team and it, it, he's a very good player we did it for good reason 74 overall star or better development very very solid pick this was the right move i think for sure 89 speed 93 excel 84 catching 74 catching traffic 82 short route running 78 medium 74 deep 86 spectacular catch to go along with 81 release 91 agility 87 jumping 93 cod 76 ball carry vision 81 juke 79 spin this is our receiver of the future. With that star or better development that is so difficult to come by this year, this one, great player, had to happen. Taylor App for number 35. Ooh, very close. We'll be able to make this happen. So what about a current seven and a future seven for number 35? No, not quite. Current seven and a future six. Why did it not, why did it not take it? I hit X. Current seven and a future six does not get us Taylor Rapp. What about a current six? Jesus, dude, they're they're playing tough. Current six and a future six still doesn't get it done. Really, current seven. I'm not trading a third. Well, I mean, I could if I take away the seventh, and then added like a future fifth. That feels like too much, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, Taylor Rapp, a future third for number 35 and a future fifth gets us this second round pick. And I think it's going to be worth it. Taylor Rapp is not going to play. I'd rather have Taylor, or not, not uh, Taylor. I'd rather have Terrell Burgess on the team, who's a higher overall, who is younger, and for the second round pick. I think it's going to be extremely valuable because with this pick, we're going to be taking, not Juwan Nor, we just want to look at him real quick. We're going to be taking Roman Douglas. I moved up all the way to get this player. He's going to be at least a 74 overall. We know that to be an absolute fact. Roman Douglas, welcome to the team. 75 overall, ranked number four in the draft. We took him at 35. Great value there. 82 tackle, 81 hit power, only 79 speed. But 88 acceleration, 74 block shed, 83 strength, 83 pursuit, 76 play rec. Power and finesse moves really aren't that bad. He's not really a cover guy, but he's a linebacker who can go out there and just, uh, you know, rack up some tackles. So normal is going to happen all the time. I just got to get, like, over normal development. Normal development's going to happen. I can't stress about it. 
that's one of the best players we could draft. Top five in the draft, you know, really can't complain. So the next player I want is Nathan Goodrich. He's just going to get drafted. That's the problem. He's 60 spots away, and I guarantee you with 30 spots away, even less than that, 28 from our draft pick, I, I would almost guarantee he gets drafted. We're going to roll the dice and just see if he's available anyway. He'll probably go the pick before us, as Nick, Nick uh, Zeitler does, who was actually on my draft board. We would need a prayer for him to be available. And he is. Nathan Goodrich is still available at ECU. You guys remember I tried to do ECU Dynasty like two different times, three different times, and it never worked out? Well, it finally worked out this time. Nathan Goodrich out of East Carolina, the Pirate, is coming to the Rams, going from the East Coast to the West Coast, Welcome Nathan Goodrich to LA. 72 overall, number 16 in the draft. We took him at 64. 93 speed, 72 man. Solid press. Obviously great acceleration and agility. Jumping is pretty solid as well. Very, very good pick here as the last pick of the second round. I cannot complain whatsoever. Trading a 6 and a 7 this year and a 6 next year. For number five, or a fifth round pick, I should say, from the Bears. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want a linebacker. And I don't think he's going to be available in like the sixth round. So, I got to make a move up. I'm trading my picks. Basically trading the rest of my draft for an actual really good player. We're going to be taking him here at the top of the fifth round from Chicago. Pick number seven. I imagine he's going to be available. I would be completely shocked if he were not. Here he is, Teddy Fleener out of Mizzou. Now, is he going to be higher than like a 68 overall? Probably not, but he's really, really good value here for the fifth round, so why not take him? 70 overall, really. Way higher than I expected. Rank number 30, we took him at 135. Only normal development, of course, and he's wearing Aaron Donald's number. Probably will change, but good speed, good tackle, good hit power. His coverage really isn't even that bad either. Teddy Fleener, quite a good player. Great value for the fifth, and that will do it for this draft. We'll check out the draft recap. I think we had a really good draft, to be honest. Like 370 or 470 plus overall players, 70, 72, 74, and 75. Uh, These guys could come in and probably be in a uh, position to start right away. We got a pretty solid team already. I mean, we just won the Super Bowl. It's not like this team is bad at all, and we only got better. Like, yeah, we got rid of Robert Woods, but we got a really good player in exchange for him. That was pretty much what this trade was, was replace Robert Woods with Jamal Booth. I'm not going to show his development trait just yet. We'll figure out what that is down the line. And then defensively, we had to get better, and we did. We upgraded at right outside linebacker and middle linebacker with two great rookies. And we got a third really solid rookie at cornerback. So uh, we got three guys that will start. And then four guys that will impact the team, you know, easily. So I would say that's a very, very good draft. And a very good way to close out episode one here of this Rams rebuild multiple part series. We'll do this with a few teams this year. Maybe even more than that. We'll see how this goes. See how well you guys receive it over the course of the series. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.